Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. And today we're gonna make a quick change to the front struts. Um, in this video, it's probably gonna be a mashup. We're gonna get the car lined. We're also gonna have that bolt in the rear fix so we can lower the car completely properly. But we'll also have to raise the front because I don't want this to be the drive height. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust coilovers and give you guys some measurements. But anyways, guys, hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon. And good night. Thank you. is now on a flat surface I'm gonna do some quick measurements all right the first measurement is about 26 inches remember the front is about 26 27 and a half so let me check the next side because I didn't measure it properly on when I put the coilovers on and this one is saying right around that 26 also so we're gonna try to bring this up at least another half an inch maybe three quarters of an inch I don't want to go too low on the old drive. All right, so I already have an older video on how to adjust coilovers, but because you guys are watching it with the Q60, I'm gonna let you guys know. So once your coilovers are installed, to adjust the height, you gotta unloosen this bottom collar. Not these two, that adjusts the preload um, for the, the springs and how they sit. We wanna adjust the height. So what you're gonna do is, of course, right tight, lefty, loosey. So, of course, counterclockwise, unloosen this. And what you're gonna be able to do is literally turn the coilover uh, uh, clockwise. That will make the, the, the rod height go down and or, and or turn the whole shock itself the opposite way, counterclockwise, and that will actually extend the shock a little higher, which means your rod height will go up. So um, I'm gonna try to show a little bit on video and then we're gonna continue. So now I have this loose, right? Now, remember, um, right around 26 inches to the front from the fender to the ground. Um, the car came about 27.5 from factory. I don't think I'm gonna go a full inch. I think I'm just gonna do a half an inch. So what I'm gonna have to do now is raise this front end almost a full inch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna unloosen this and we're gonna start I don't know if I could show it on video, not strong enough, but you can use your winches or spanner wrenches. I use a pipe wrench because it's a little bit easier. I get more um, uh, leverage, but you're going to put that, you should be able to put it right here or try to spin it with by hand and that's going to allow this to start spinning up. So it's, this is not this part necessarily going to spin up, but this whole thing is going to spin up with this still not moving as well. It's going to be moving with it rotating and as much threads that, and what when you keep measuring it right let me just show you an example so once you unloosen it as much as you can this whole shock this part is going to be a lot higher then you're going to measure the amount of uh, inches or you know centimeters or whatever, millimeters whatever you guys want to measure it between here and that is going to be your final drive height then you'll put this back down and tighten it all right so let me just do that briefly and i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about all right so that's where i'm at right now i twisted it up and you know what? I'm not gonna go too full high, uh, too too much. So I've pulled out about half an inch. Maybe I'll go like another quarter, maybe three quarters. But this is where I'm at right now. Uh, this is with me um, rotating it uh, counterclockwise. This whole assembly counterclockwise. And then all you have to do now is just spin it back down and tighten this and make sure it's nice and tightening of course or righty tighty lefty loosey make sure you guys don't make any mistakes anyways let me move over to the next side all right i'm about to put the wheel back on oh also guys if you haven't checked out my spacer install video hopefully it came out check that up above, below, above on how to install spacers on your q50 q60 all right all right so now we're going to bring this one down i know you guys are already going to sit there and say these tires are worn boost i know that if you guys watch any of my videos, you know exactly what's going on. Oh my God. All right. And that is now the new drive height of the car. Yep. About, we went up about half to three quarters of an inch. I would say a little bit above half. Didn't get it all the way right, but I want to go with this drive height. So 
let's just double check it i mean like the car's gonna have to move back and forth so let me just work on the other side and then once we got the car both all both sides on the ground then we can give give you guys a proper height adjustment and see where we're at all right so once again i already took off this side this is the driver's side now i'm gonna show you guys an example now i already broke the tension in this collar right now don't take this as a joke but when you rebuild your coilovers which is you can also check that video up here it, i did a rebuild on these coilovers i didn't put lithium grease on them so the other side was super hard to turn but this one i did put a little bit of grease on it before like when i was installing it so look how much well it ain't that much more easier but you see how it's spinning so much more easy to spin by hand two hands is super easy but anyways let me finish this side off and then we're gonna see what the new height will be all right guys so now we're gonna bring this side down this side is finished really i put it on that tight yeah there you go yeah all right so that now is the new drive height so let me just step back so you guys can get a better look all right so now that the car is to the height that i want it to be it's probably going to go down a little bit lower but it's not as slammed as it was before to me this is a functional uh drive height um let's get the measurements i'm going to go get the uh what you call it remember the car is kind of on a slant right now all right guys so i drove the car around the block just to get the springs to settle a little bit so the new drive height right now hopefully on try my best to be on the proper surface it is right around 20 27 oh, that's damn that original well not really but it's a little bit lower it's gonna go it's gonna drop a little bit more this one's probably gonna be a little under 27 soon watch and we're gonna go on this side the, the road isn't all the way flat so if you, if you see some imperfections in the road so it's not all the way flat and remember the car also has about a quarter tank of gas so it's gonna still be a little bit iffy but anyways right here this one's saying a little bit above um a little bit under 27 but it's probably because of the way that the car is sitting because i bet you this side is a little iffy let's see 28 remember yes yeah, definitely not 28 this car is definitely not 28 in the rear and this one says right around a little under 28 so yeah the car's just probably sitting a little funny but anyways we're gonna go tomorrow and we're gonna go get um we're gonna go get the rear coilover is hopefully installed and that rear bolt fixed so let's fast forward to that part right now where the bushing is bad because you know it's an infinity not those crappy ass bmws you know we, we wouldn't really have those issues because you know bmw shit you know they blow turbos and motors and shit oh oh yeah oh i didn't see you over there i didn't, I didn't see there's oh you were oh bmw got working on bmw oh okay you see your problem over there oh yeah that's oh yeah we already talked about that to start thank you everybody for watching do appreciate you guys love you guys very much you can also check out the two links i posted for some of my other videos also on top of that if you want to purchase some boost in motion merch definitely check the link that i posted also and finally if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them please hit the link for to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you